Welcome back to the channel guys. I got a great video for you today. It's going to be pretty short, but it's pretty awesome as well. Now, I haven't got to go fishing in like two months and actually fish and usually just playing around testing baits. But today, I got to test a bait and actually fish. Now, I didn't actually go fishing just to test baits today. It just kind of fell in my lap. The conditions were perfect for throwing a jig. And I ended up choosing this new Dirty Jigs Tackle Luke Lawson Series Compact Pitching Jig. Before I actually get into the review of the bait or my setup or anything else, let's just go over the conditions I was dealt with today. I had a high pressure system come through. It's gonna be 82, 83 degrees. The wind was blowing. It's late fall. Water temperature was at 63 to 65 degrees to start the day. Dude, that was awesome. I swam it over that lay down. He come up there and freaking crunched it. Now the reason I picked up a jig is Number one, I've been wanting to test this jig for a while. I was actually watching a video this week from TacticalBassin.com with Matt Allen and Tim Little. They talk about the same exact conditions that are happening right now in Kentucky, but they were out in California. And what they did is pitch compact jigs near wood. So it was a no-brainer to me. Hey, let's slow down a little bit. Let's pitch some jigs, buy some wood, and see what happens. See that sucker come up and eat it. Yeah, yeah they come up and rolled on it. Little dirty jigs. Compact. Yeah, you've been up shallow. Well, here's what happened the fish bit. And what I was doing was pitching to shallow targets, uh, laydowns, uh, stumps, uh, underneath willow trees. And these fish were actually pretty aggressive. Uh, the bait I was using was only a quarter ounce, but it seemed to be the ticket. Some of these bass, as soon as I flipped it in, would actually swirl on the bait and eat it almost like a swim jig before I almost had time to react. And it was pretty cool. And it, what really keyed me in on the jig bite is the first good fish I caught and you'll see it on his GoPro footage. Really, his mouth is all red and brown. He's been crushing on crawfish. So I knew just to keep up with him. There he is. Yeah. God, look how fat that sucker is. Again, dirty jigs. So let's talk a little bit about the bait I was throwing. I was actually using the new Dirty Jigs Tackle Luke Clawson Compact Pitching Jig. What's cool about this jig is it's actually got a medium to light wire hook in it. It's super, super sharp. It's perfect for flipping. The weed guard is not super thick. It's very soft, very good penetration. When I turn this jig over, you'll notice it's got a little keeper here. And that's what I was putting my trailer on. I was actually using a Mr. Twister Buzz Bug and Green Pumpkin. I'll show you that here in just a second. But Arky style head, this is great for pitching cover. You get a lot of good hookups, and you can actually swim it very easily. I do trim the skirt down here just a little bit. This Mr. Twister Buzz Bug is a great bait. It's actually recommended to me by Elite Series Pro Clint Davis. And uh, I just want to show it to you real quick. Make sure you get a good look and understand what I was talking about. I'm not being a sponsor or anything. Again, I don't have any sponsors. But it is a cool bait and I haven't thrown it yet. Did have some success. You can see it looks very similar to a Zoom Speed Crawl. These legs are a little longer. And uh, I think the fish really liked it, especially on the fall. That was awesome. Holy shit, that was awesome. Look at this big one. Oh, dude, I pitched it down there. It freaking swirled and took off. I got hung up in this. Let's go over my setup really quick. I was using a seven foot medium heavy rod, fast action tip. Quarter ounce jig, I don't need a really stiff 
rod. It will definitely overpower the bait. I was using the old school Shimano Pro Arc E7 reel. It's a seven to one ratio. I'm able to winch down and get those fish out of cover fast in 14 pounds sunlight and fluorocarbon. At the end of the day, I'm not a great shallow water fisherman. I took some advice from Matt Allen and Tactical Bass. I put this compact pitching jig in my hand for the first time and was able to catch fish. I'm an offshore specialist. I like to fish ledges, deep pumps, bars, uh, typical Kentucky Lake fisherman. So for me to come up shallow is a little different, kind of out of my comfort zone, but I got it done today. And uh, this new Luke Lawson compact pitching jig from Dirty Jigs, it's a great jig. I love the design, come through cover very well, and I think you'll be very successful if you use it as well. Guys, I hope this video will help you catch a few more fish this fall next time you're fishing shallow water. Don't forget your jigs. Give it a thumbs up if you like. Be sure to comment and subscribe to my channel and share it to all your buddies. For next time, I'm the Bait Man.